This is one FM 103YCA. The auto ultrasonic close end cutting machine by computer control for number three invisible zipper. Now we are going to test this machine and teach you how to operate this machine. First of all, please make sure the air pressure is around four kilo. Once the air pressure is okay, and please switch on the machine's main power, and please switch on the machine's panel's power, and please put the zipper into the machine according to this direction. This is the top stop side. This is the bottom stop side. This is slider. Okay? And please put the zipper into the machine according to this direction. And please note the zipper must go through this device. Okay? And this is the slider putting up device. You need to make the zipper get through. And please put the zipper into the zipper losing motor. Okay? And then you need to touch a screen and you need to press a menu operation and there is a zipper loosing motor. The zipper loosing motor is there. So you need to press the button. Okay? And use your hand to guide the zipper to make a zipper comes out. Okay? And then please make the zipper connect with the tension control. And please put the zipper, get through the brush and guiding part. Okay. And please make a zipper. It's stopping around this position. And please release the wheel and make sure the zipper goes through like this way. Okay, get through like this way. Once everything is okay, and please go back to the main screen. Okay, and then there is the setting for continuous production. Continuous production is always keep running non stop. Normally we need to use the interval production. So the interval production, you can set up the interval number for cutting. How many pieces you need to cut for every, every package. And this is the interval time, the stopping time. Normally we can stop for 5 to 8 seconds. For example, we set up the 8 seconds. So it cuts the 25 pieces, stop for 8 seconds for your packing. And there's a 2 speed. You can choose the speed 1. Or speed 2 if you choose the speed 2 the bottom stop position will be changed okay because it's controlling the bottom stop position so we use the speed 1 and the request quantity for example we want to cut the total 50 pieces you can set up 100 according to your orders okay once everything is okay the machine will cut 25 pieces and stop for a second and then total 50 pieces machine will be stopped now we are going to test this machine so we press the start the machine will be auto running for the first piece you need to take it out because this is the damaged one and you can see the sensor is checking the zippers This is a slider pulling up device. And you can see once it reaches 25 pieces, the machine will be stopped. And you need to take out the zipper for packing. Okay? And it will keep going. That's a protection for home. If we press on the slider, the machine will not be cut. It. So you can see, once it reach the 50 pieces, the machine will be stopped, 
and here is another 25 pieces okay so total 50 pieces and you can press the reset button to finish the order and there is a setting the welding delay time is welding time we set up six many seconds if you cannot cut you can increase the time cooling delay time is after cutting you need to make cooling for five minutes second and this is a brush brush control this is the belt control and you can press the password the password 8008 enter you can see the low level password is 6686 the high level password is 8008 and there are two speed okay the standard speed we set up 5000 the bottom stop position we set up 15 this one is making the two side balance okay the two side balance so two side balance is controlled from here so we make two speeds the speed one and speed two the speed two is a uh, 5500 this is the uh, 30 13 okay and you can see the low level setting the start delay time is before you start the machine the brush need to run how much time and the machine start to work so we set up five milliseconds and the slow speed setting this one 2000 this one the machine has two speed the fast speed and if when it's sensitive the gap and machine will make the slow speed we set up the 2000 the gap induction of the zipper delay this one is very important this one is when the sensor feel the gap sometimes there's a fancy puller if slider is too much fancy you need to make delay time because need to give the PLC some delay time to make sure this is not wrong signal okay so the invisible is okay but it's for another another zipper fancy puller you need to increase the time for the sensor and the conveyor belt time 150 is controlling this this one okay if you want more delay time when it stops and it will run more to make sure the zipper goes down and this is very important this one is a counting okay the counting by sensor or counting by ultrasonic if you don't want to use this sensor you can switch to the sonic counting okay if machine has any problem the solution will show you where's problem and what time happened and for the ultrasonic control box normally the frequency should be 14.7 to 14.9 if you change home if you change home you must use the frequency scan to make sure the frequency is 14.7 to 14.9 okay if you want to change the power now the output we use the 86 percent you can press the set and you can increase the power or decrease the power okay and you can press this button and you can make the welding maximum time more or less but normally this one is maximum time you adjust the welding time is from the screen inside of the screen okay so you can press a set if you want to test a sonic you can press sonic test okay above meso is teaching you how to open this machine and we finish machinery testing